drop, who jewels got blocks? Who's mostly don't she down to the two drop? The same old temp, bass, you know ain't nothing changed but my limp. Can't stop, I see my name on the blimp. All right, y'all, I'm here, and I'm gonna have to do a voiceover in a little bit, but we're standing at the double tree for Sean's fight. This is where the fight is gonna be at. Guarantee me and Sean call it level up. You don't believe in Harlem world, nigga, double up. We don't play around, it's a bet, lay it down. Niggas didn't know me 91, bet they know me now. I'm the young Harlem nigga with the Goldie sound. Can't no PSD, niggas hold me down. Cool up, school me to the game, now I know my duty. Stay humble, stay low, blow like booty. True pimp, niggas finna go on the booty. When you yell, nigga, make sure go your cutie. Double tree. So the double tree is where Sean is having his fight. So we just have to get a room here because we do not want to miss the fight because I have class and a whole bunch of stuff. And y'all see that throughout the process. But um, this is when you first walk in. You have the closet, and then you have this mirror area with a sink, a little drawer and stuff. And then you have the bathroom with another mirror area. And I look so rough, y'all. Y'all seen me earlier, and, like, the outfit I put on is outrageous. Like, I don't even know whose shirt this is. I found this in my bedroom, and I'm assuming it's Sean's. But, yeah, I'm, I just got on anything. This is just the bathroom and stuff. But, yeah, it's real simple. And, like, the rooms here are expensive. Like, these, this is an expensive room, but you would never know by the way that it looked. So going back you got this door and then um but you of course this is locked and then you have the double beds this one is mine this one is sean mom's so oh my god y'all look at me i look a mess oh my god this is how i came to the airport like for real and these are the braids uh i plan on leaving in for two months like these been in my head for a while but i'm doing the rice water challenge so that's why my hair is like this but you got the little TV, the dresser. Then you have, um, you know, another mirror, a table thing. And then you have the balcony. And let me show it. Now, this room have no view at all. Like, this is too, like, a parking garage. So, it's like, I guess you can say this is for people who would, like, want to smoke or something. But, yeah, it have no good view at all. But the mountains and stuff is over there like the other room had a pool view but i don't know why this is like this but and like i said we're only here for one day <coughs> we're only gonna be here for one day and stuff so um this is just what we got and this room was expensive at the double tree hilton but it's okay because we just needed to get a room for the fight so yeah, so right now what I'm about to do is I'm about to do my makeup and stuff and get prepared. And the reason why Sean have his own room and I'm not in there is because boxers cannot have distractions. So I couldn't, well, I could, we could have shared a room, but like we don't want like any distractions. So I always stay away from him like during fights and stuff. But yeah, but Sean room look different from ours. Like he have a fridge and stuff. This room have no fridge, which I think is kind of crazy because this room is bigger. But maybe his room have upgrades. You. No. Boop. Yeah, this is Sean room. Like I said, his room is better. <laughs> For some weird reason, they made the one bed better, which is kind of weird. But yeah, this is his room, and I'll show you his bathroom. Mm. 
Okay, so I'm just showing y'all how the hotels are. So I just left Sean's room, which is at this building. But all of this is the same hotel. It's just different buildings, which I think is kind of weird because you got to go outside to go to the next one and stuff. But I guess. But yeah, I just wanted to show that and stuff. And look at me, y'all. Do y'all see me? Okay, so I got to scan my key. Right now, I'm about to join class. Because, like I said, I have class at, um, well, I get out of class at 8. I get out of class at 8.30, and the fight is at 8. So I'm about to join class and stuff, and we'll be at the fight. They not collecting my specimens, damn. Okay, so I'm still in class, but here's the ticket to the fight. As you can hear, the students in class and stuff. But here's my book. We're on our 10 minute break. But oh, another thing too. When I was in class, I was putting on my nails, and look, they're so crooked. Like, look at this one. Do y'all see that? Like, it's <laughs> leaning to the side, but I didn't want my teacher to see that I was putting on. I didn't want the teacher to see that I was putting on nails and stuff. So I just decided to go ahead and just lean over a little bit so she couldn't tell. And then while I was leaning, I was just gluing them on. But like, majority of them are like cricket. These are pretty straight. But my nails are like really, really dirty. I don't. I, it's just been a long day y'all it's been hard like this now that one cricket like that one is leaning to the side and then same with this one so it's just like you know i just been trying to get ready and stuff while i was in class but everything worked out perfectly i got everything complete face done hair done nails done so we have nothing else to worry about so once i get out of class i'm gonna just log straight off if people is you know asking questions in class and stuff i'm just hurry up and turn my computer off at 8 30 because that's the time to get out i can't i don't have time to you know like stay back and listen to questions so i'm gonna hurry up and get offline and then i'm gonna run across the street because like i showed y'all the hotels and stuff it's like well the hotel is like different units and stuff so i have to walk outside and stuff and i still have to put on my heels i'm thinking about wearing my glasses but i also want to show y'all like a fit check because like you can't get the full effect of how what i'm about to wear so i'm gonna do a fit check and all that stuff and then once i'm done then we're gonna go to the fight so yeah so it's been a whole bunch of goofy stuff going on so see stuff like that is weird i don't like that um, okay so anyways it's like 8 30 something i just got a class i gotta hurry up throw my boots on you already seen these boots before which is the greens i gotta hurry up and throw these on i'm rushing to the fight now they saying that you gotta have like mandatory vaccine with a covid shot and all this other stuff but none of that was none of that was stated for this fight. They never said that all these people that flew out here for this fight. They never said they had to get COVID tests and all that stuff. So right now, I'm just in a rush trying to hurry up and go get a COVID test because he's up next. And this is just so annoying. And this whole thing has just been so annoying. And Sean got the knockout first round. Okay, so long story, matter of fact, let me tell you a story about what happened. So first off, you know, I got out of class at 8.30. So um, I ended up getting downstairs and they were saying like, you need COVID tests and stuff. They never stated that. So I ended up going to get a COVID test and it took a while to get my results back. So by the time I make it inside the, the fight thing, Sean was already like this with his hands up. He already won. So I missed the fight. I couldn't record it. I'm so upset about that. But I might add some clips in, depending, because I got to see how good it look on the vlog. But I'm going to try to put some little clips in, probably, like, right here. So y'all can actually see, like, little snippets of what happened and stuff. Well, honey, where's he going? Where's he going? 